What's up guys? I'm coming to you from my freezing cold garage. In this video, we're going to be restoring an old machete. Now, this machete here has probably been in my family for like 97 generations. Just kidding. It is really old though. I think it's like 60 years old. Now, if this was like a Walmart machete, it wouldn't even be worth restoring. But I can tell at some point in time, this was really, really high quality. Now it's just what every machete fears it'll be one day. Rusted, can't even see the original steel, a duct tape handle sitting in the corner of a shed. Well, today we're gonna make this little machete's dream come true and make it young again. The first thing I gotta do is remove the duct tape to see what kind of handle this thing has. Instead of finding the seam where the duct tape starts, I'm just going to use the knife to make my own one and peel it away from that point. Now that I've re-exposed the old wooden handle, I can see a whole lot more with what I'm dealing with here. It looks like this thing has five quarter inch pins in total that are holding on the handle four going off the side and then one right here. Whenever I put my new handle on, I'm going to have four pins for the handle, but this one isn't very necessary, so I'll use that to make a lanyard hole. So my next step is going to be to remove this old handle. I'm just going to use a hacksaw. All right, I got the handle off and it was really really hard to do and as it turns out this was not a full tank construction that ditches the idea of what I had originally on having two handle scales on either side instead I'm gonna have to do something a little bit different but that doesn't matter the next step we have to do is to take all the rust off of this thing I have a wire wheel chucked into my drill and I'm gonna be using this to take as much of the rust as I can off once I've done that I'm going to ditch the wire wheel and then move on to my flap disc. Once I move on to my flap disc, after that I'm going to use my belt sander. And then I will go to bed. Okay, it may not look like it, but that wire wheel took a whole lot of rust off of this thing. But there's still a lot to go. The next step is to take a flap disc, preferably, on my angle grinder, and then just go the distance. use my angle grinder, my drill press, and my orbital sander, but I cannot get all the rust off of this thing. This thing's been rusting for decades. The rust has penetrated probably about a 32nd of an inch under the surface of the steel. That may not sound like a lot, but if I were to grind all that off, it would be like grinding a piece of sheet metal into dust. Grinding this guy shiny again is probably more work than I'm willing to put in. So. Instead of spending more time sanding this thing shiny, instead I'm going to give it a flat black paint job. That might seem kind of lazy, but it will still look really, really cool. The advantage about using paint on the steel instead of making it shiny again is because the paint will help it prevent rust. And I know whenever I give it back to these people, they're probably not going to be taking care of it that much with oil. I see an old machete and I want it to turn black. Two coats of paint and a bajillion years later, this thing's finally dry. But I gotta tell you, this thing looks really, really good. With all that sanding that I did, it made the surface extremely smooth. Looks brand new again. Now we're going to work on the handle. 
Now it's time to select what type of wood I want to use. My original plan was to use this quarter inch oak board, but then I found out that it wasn't actually a full tank construction and the tang is smaller than the handle was. So, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with something a little bit bigger, like hickory. So this will be the wood that I use for the handle. I've taken this wood to my table saw and I've cut two sections like this. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is lay the tang on one of the pieces of wood and then use a pencil to trace it on. So now I'm going to use my router to try and carve out kind of a slot that the tank can sit in. Now don't worry, if you don't have a router, you can use chisels. In fact, if I had chisels, I'd use that instead, but I'm using what I got. So I got the slot and the tang fits in there pretty nicely. I'm going to drill the holes now, but as it turns out, these holes are not a quarter of an inch, they're actually 3 16 So I have this lined up here, and I have my 3 16 inch bit, and I'm going to drill the hole through the wood. Instead of drilling a pinhole for this fourth hole right here, I'm going to attempt to bore it out to 5 16 So I have all the holes drilled in both pieces of wood. One wood has the slot cut into it and the other one's completely flat. Now I have them pinned together with some 3 16 pins and I'm going to shape it using files, belt sanders, whatever I can use to get this down to a comfortable shape. Okay, I got my two handle pieces shaped out. Any more shaping I do on the handle will be done after it's attached to the blade. And now it's time for the most stressful part of this entire build. That's gluing the scales onto the tank. I've done this part a million times and I've never gotten used to it, especially since this is the first time I've done this type of handle ever. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up my epoxy and I'm going to apply it to both handle scales and the tang and the pins. Then once I have the scales onto the blade and the pins through, I'm going to take this to the anvil of my vise and peen the pins. Then after that, I'm going to shape the handle some more. It's time to make a mess. down to this and I think it's looking really really good. Now I'm going to do some finish sanding on it with a fine grit. Give it a good stain. Now once the stain is dried, I'm going to give it a coat of crystal clear. So now that that's dry, I also added a lanyard on it and I'm gonna put a better edge on this using a 120 grit belt on my belt sander. After that, I'm gonna hit this with my stones.
Now she's done. First test is gonna be the gallon. Now let's test out a pumpkin. Oh God. again. These Latin style machetes have some pretty serious points on them. I want to see how well it stabs. Old Ben here has been kind enough to hold the target box for us, so let's see how she stabs. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. Get out of it. about uh, that much penetration. Let's try that again. Oh, oh, Ben. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Let me try that again. Well, I am no doctor. But I do know that'll kill something. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. I had a whole lot of fun restoring this thing. And now, it'll last a whole lot longer. Happy Thanksgiving everyone. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that, and I will see you next time. This lighting makes me look like I'm flawless in the face. Oh, there we go. That's more like it.